Hey everyone, David Bombal coming to you from Cisco Live. Really happy about this video. I want to introduce you to Karim. He's actually good friends with a friend of mine, Lionel. Lionel, if you're watching, hey, Lionel. we both hope that you're not getting into trouble again. But that's besides the point. Karim, you need to tell us about Cisco U. When I saw this announced, it sounded really exciting. And what you've told me is actually more than what I realized. So tell us, you know, what is it about? Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm, uh, I'm Kareem. I'm actually a nerd at heart. And uh, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Cisco U. So Cisco U is learning and certifications latest uh, announcement. It's our new learning platform where we have taken your feedback. We have taken what you wanted to see from a learning platform, incorporated it into Cisco U, and we've done some cool stuff with it. So let me walk you through what we have. This is Cisco U. It's tech learning shaped to you where we have a couple of things. So if you think about when you're out there looking at some of the streaming services, they tailor the content based on what you went through and you viewed in that streaming service. We kept that in mind and we wanted to tailor that and take that experience and have it in Cisco U. So it's like streaming like Netflix kind of idea, right? Kind of like that, the same similar idea of what you see there. So, and this is where you get into Cisco. You, you see three pieces and we've done more than just this kind of recommendation engine, but the For You page is where you want to spend most of your time. Here is where we're going to learn about you and we're going to show you some of the great content that you expect to see and training that you expect to see from Cisco. Is it it's AI driven? Is it, it's AI driven. That's so how you learn about it. Behind the scenes, AI driven. When you first get in here, you'll be prompted with a survey. You'll tell us your interest. You'll tell us your level. You know, I'm, I love automation and cloud, so this is what I'm going to pick. And I consider myself an intermediate. Right. Um, Says the expert. <laughs> I'm being humble. And then we'll learn a little bit about what kind of certification you are, right? Let's assume, you know, I've recently did not pass my DevNet expert, so maybe I am after my DevNet expert again. Based on this, we tailor that, we kind of gather all this data, as well as what you've been doing on our platform, and we tailor a couple of things for you. First of all, we have these learning path, and the learning path are essentially a guided journey to take you through a specific topic that you might be after, right? You cover a lot of CCNA content out there. That's great. And it's great. And let's say you've seen the blueprint of the CCNA and you want to come in here and, and actually take the training. We have that for you. We have that guided journey where it matches our blueprint out there for you to be able to complete and accomplish that certification. But we don't actually just stop there, right? It's not just certification, but we cover Cisco products as well as Cisco solutions. That's good. And this is one thing that I'd like to point out to you is when you go out there and you learn, you're not going to learn about one company and what they do only, especially in this today's world. It has to expand to an entire solution. So we're working with third party to bring in adjacent technologies within Cisco U to give you that cohesive learning experience. Wow, so that's, you're a, not, that's a change. You're not, it's a huge change. So you're not going out there to learn about cloud providers. You're not going out there to learn how to leverage Terraform. It's all going to be part of what you want to learn for Cisco. And so we're bringing that into the learning path and making building these out as a guided learning for you. I have to ask you the nasty questions, Karim, because that's my job. Yes. Uh, is, is some of the content free? Yes. Paid? One of our pillars that we focused on is community. So being and a lot of you guys out there, I'm sure you've learned, you've heard of Cisco Learning Network. Yeah. And so what we've done with Cisco U is we've taken that community aspect from CLN and brought it into Cisco U. So you have the forums that you follow. You have the communities that you follow all within that learning experience. So as you're learning, you can connect with the experts, ask questions, and see where your peers are and what they're doing from a learning perspective. Also, there, we have the content types that allows you to use Cisco U and leverage it as a destination for your daily learning. So let me cover that, actually. That's a great question. What do you expect to see from a Cisco U perspective? So learning journeys. These are subscription-based. They're massive investment on your time. Industry standard learning, we're going to charge you for it. Yeah. Okay. Now, you can get in here and do other things. You could see our communities. You can follow them and follow the forums. You can actually see the newly created podcasts, and we, we create technical podcasts uh, at least monthly, if not more. So you'll see that, and that would be tailored, again, based on what you told us you've been doing in the platform. Webinars. So we host, I want to say, 10 to 15 webinars per quarter, 25 webinars per quarter. All of that is available for you for free into Cisco U. All you have to do is just get a Cisco account, CCO account, log in, you'll have access to that. And this is one 
that we're bringing within Cisco U, one that I'm proud of, it's uh, tutorials. How many times have you been working on a problem and you need that kind of moment of need learning to accomplish one thing and one thing only without having to go look on an extensive course how to do it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to learn about Kubernetes. I want to deploy Kubernetes with Terraform. Or I want to be able to onboard a switch into DNA Center, right? I don't need to go take an entire course to do that. So tutorials are bite-sized learning tailored for essentially for you to be able to go see that moment of need training. Dude, really important question. Labs, assessments, have you got stuff like that? You have to, right? When we, we both know hands-on labs are not irreplaceable. You need, at least for me, in order for me to learn, I got to actually do it. Exactly. I, I can't go past the certification without actually getting that muscle memory in. So we understand that and we have labs. But I'd like to touch on in the learning path on pre-assessment and post-assessment. So one thing that we actually, when we went out there and we built this, we understand that time and being able to invest your time into learning is scarce. Between your day-to-day -day job, between family, you don't actually have the time. So what we've done is with leveraging our AI recommendation engine, we created pre assessment and post assessments before every single learning path. You're looking at the CCNA learning path here. So let's say that you've studied before. You don't know what your knowledge level is. You don't want to have to go through the entire learning path exactly. from the beginning because you already know what a route or a switch is. You already know how to push the button. You don't want to do any of this. So what we've created is prior to any starting of a learning path, we created pre-assessments. Pre-assessments are basically a quiz to guide you to, for us to learn about your knowledge level and then allow the completion of courses and making them optional where you have answered correctly and where you struggled, we'll make sure that you go through that and complete your entire journey. So we're using that to basically trim down your learning and making modules optional based on your knowledge. That's a great idea. And so to touch back on your lab, Every single learning path have lab. If we're looking at this learning path, CCNA, we have assessments, so these are quizzes, but we also have hands-on labs. An example of a hands-on lab, and this sometimes you get actual virtual Cisco equipment or actual hardware that you actually practice on. Oh, top. wow. And so in this case, I'm looking at here, you can see this by this flask here. This is a lab performing basic switching configuration, and I can initialize the lab for us. And we guide you through the lab too. So you have a step-by-step, -step, this is what you, expected. Step one, do this. And then you'll actually, once your lab is ready, we'll tell you and you'll be able to get into command line and the CLI to play around. The lab is ready and we can see it. We can simply launch it. And you're on. So this is a huge thing for, I know as a learner, that we'd like to leverage. And we have plenty and plenty of labs, hands-on labs for you to go through in the learning path journey. That's brilliant. Hopefully very soon, I'll be able to host my content or some of my content or create new content with Cisco U. Great news is that there'll be free content and paid content, right? For sure. So we want to serve the community and we want to serve your upscaling and your reskilling skills. Karim, thanks so much. Thank you. Looking Dave. forward to it. Yeah, likewise.